Hello, uh, this is the video for hybrid junctions, um, which has to be used in radars, radar antennas. Okay, so last video was on monopulse tracking radar, where uh, we had mentioned about hybrid junctions. So these, this video will uh, uh, give you the brief idea about which all uh, components can be used as hybrid junctions for uh, monopulse tracking radar antenna. Okay, so the first hybrid uh, junction is Magic T. Magic T, I guess you all of uh, you all are aware of. Mm. So we have four ports in Magic T, where the, these two ports are called as collinear ports. So if we give inputs to these two ports, that means the in, if the input is the same with no sign changes, and that means R in phase. So same phase if the uh, same phase same input if uh, are applied to these collinear ports and the output which is obtained at this port this is called as e port uh, so the output which is obtained at this port is the difference of those okay that is because of the polarization difference here okay and uh, with the same scenario if the inputs are given to these two ports collinear arms the output obtained at this port this is h port here we get the sum Okay, so this is also called as sum port and this is also called as difference port. So this is one component which can be used as the hybrid junction in uh, radar antennas, radars. Okay, so because we need the sum and difference in monopulse tracking radars, uh, where some channel would be given to range tracking and the difference channel will be uh, employed for uh, getting the azimuth and elevation angle errors. Right, sorry, this is the sum and this is the difference. Okay, so this is how magic T would be used uh, to get the sum and the difference of the two uh, inputs uh, applied at the collinear arm. So these are the collinear arm, this is the E arm or uh, the difference arm, this is H arm or the um, sum, sum port. Okay. So this is how magic D would be used. So I guess uh, the detailed derivation of this and all we had learned in the previous uh, semester in antennas, so microwave components, passive devices, right? So that's it. So this is how magic T is used as hybrid junction. So the next, um, yeah, this is how magic T looks like. I guess you would have seen this in labs and we have done experiments on this, on um, measuring the inputs and outputs at each ports when the other ports are fed with the input from the um, um, uh, bench, microwave test bench, okay? And this is also another form of magic T. This is the E port and this is the H port, difference and sum. Now the next component which can be used as <clears throat> a hybrid junction is a rad trace coupler. This we have not learned last time, but the uh, operation is uh, quite simple. You can see there are four ports. So we will see what happens when input is fed to uh, two of these ports. Suppose the input is fed at one. Okay, one second. So suppose the input is fed at one, okay? So in this scenario, <coughs> what happens is, uh, yeah, one second. Yeah. So if the input is fed at one, um, now the length, the length difference between one and three is lambda by four. And the difference of length between one and four is three lambda by four as shown here. And then one and two, the length is lambda by four plus lambda by four, that is lambda by two, okay. So we all know how, so if this is a sine wave, right? So if this is how it is, then uh, from here to here, right? This still here is lambda by two. This is lambda by uh, four. Okay. Similarly, this is lambda by two. Okay. And this is lambda. Right. And this is, so this is one lambda by four. This is two lambda by four. This is three. Right. One second. Yeah, this is three lambda by four. So I'm not writing lambda by four here. This is three lambda by four. Similarly, this is four lambda by four, which is lambda, and this is uh, 
this is phi lambda by 4, right? So this is phi lambda by 4, like so on, okay? So we will see how the inputs and outputs are uh, functioning here. So if this is the place where we get the input, we'll see if this input is going to come out of 3, 2, or 4. Okay. So now, so if we consider 4, so there are two ways the waves can travel. One is this way and one is this way, right? So from 1 to 4. So what happens? So what is the length in this side? So there is 3 lambda by 4. 1, 2, 3, right? So 3 lambda by 4. This way also it is 3 lambda by 4. Hence, both the waves which are traveling towards 4 in both the directions are coming in phase. Hence, output is going to come out of 4. Okay? So now let us see. One second. So now let us see what happens at two, uh, three. Okay, so there are two ways the wave can travel. One is this way from one, and the other one is this way from one. So one is lambda by four. The other way it is three lambda by four plus lambda by four plus lambda. By four. That is phi lambda by four. So if you consider um, three lambda by four here, right? One second, sorry. Yeah, one is uh, phi lambda by four and one is lambda by four, okay? So one way is lambda by four, this one, and the other way is phi lambda by four, which is this one. Now you can see both are in phase again, correct? Right? So hence, through three also, the output is going to appear, which is coming from one. Okay, now, now we'll see what happens at two. So what happens is uh, one way, one second. So one way it is this, okay? So that is two lambda by four, which is lambda by two, okay? So one way is lambda by two, and the other way is three lambda by four plus lambda by four, which is lambda, okay? So both the waves are not at all in phase, correct? So they are 180 degree out of phase, hence the one way, one uh, one wave travels one wavelength and the counterclockwise signal travels half wavelength. There's a signal that is an input, and that is the input at port one, will be divided equally and uh, it will appear at three and four, but not appear at two. Okay, so signal will not come out of two. So this is how uh, this rat race coupler works. So if you feed, one second, now, if you feed the input at uh, one and two, okay, so one and two both are used as input poles. So we know what is the scenario of one, right? So if you want, uh, like the way rat race coupler should be used in radar is two inputs would be there, right? Two P. So if one and two are acting as the two inputs, then see the difference from one to three and uh, two to three, both are same. Hence, through three, the addition of both the signals will be happening, hence this is the sum port. Okay, if the inputs are given at 1 and 2 and 3 acts as the sum port. If you see 1 and 2 inputs towards 4, so from 2 to 4 it is lambda by 4, but from 1 to 4 it is 3 lambda by 4, right? So we know 3 lambda by 4 and lambda by 4 are opposite in phase, correct? No, we just saw that, right? So if this is the wave, okay, so this is uh, lambda by 4 and this is three lambda by four, which are uh, 90 degree out of phase, correct? So hence this uh, output will come out of four, but then it is going to be difference port. Okay, so this is difference and this is sum port, clear? So this is how rat race coupler is going to be used as uh, sum and difference port. So if the inputs are fed at one and two, three is going to be sum port and four is going to be the difference port. Okay, clear? So that was rat race coupler. So this is how practical rat trace couplers look like. So this is the microstrip version of rat trace coupler. The magic T which we saw was not microstrip, it is just waveguide, okay? So this is a microstrip version of rat trace coupler. Next is uh, directional coupler. The directional coupler is also a port port uh, device um, where there is one input port, there is one output port, one coupled port and one isolated port. So the input to output, that is port one to port two, the output is going to be exactly like whatever is fed at the input, it is going to reach the output port two. 
and then uh, we will see how this port 3 acts as couple port and how port 4 acts as the isolation port. So this is the figure which you'll see in the textbook. So we will see what is uh, this direction coupler. Now this uh, direction coupler is also called as two hole direction coupler because you can see two slots here, one and then two. Okay, and the difference between them is lambda g by four. Lambda g is nothing but wave guide, uh, wavelength. Sorry, guide wavelength. Okay, guided wavelength. Okay, so lambda g by four. So this difference between the two slots is two holes or two slots is lambda by four. So whenever the wave is going to pass through this uh, length lambda by four, it is going to have a difference of lambda by four in it. Clear? In the phase. Okay. So now let us see. So port 1 to port 3, that means this, so here, you see, you just ignore the numbers here, you just see the name, so this is going to be your input port, this is going to be your output port, okay. So port 1 to port 3, the wave is going to be exactly, just, it just passes through port 3, okay. So this is the output port, fine. Now, when this uh, port 1 uh, wave, which is, okay, here the input is at port 1, okay, yeah, this is the input port. So when the signal crosses this part, it can leak through this hole, right? So this is one path. It can leak through this hole also, right? So these two waves, what happens? So if this is the wave which is passing like this, right? So it passes through lambda by four, it has lambda by four change in it. The same wave, it also passes through lambda by four once, hence both the waves are going to be, so both the waves have passed through lambda by four once. Okay? So these uh, waves are going to be uh, in phase, hence these waves are going to add. Hence, output will also come through port 4 and port 3 also. That's why this port is called as coupled port. So it is through coupling that the waves reach here, okay? And since they are in phase, the waves reach here, okay? Now, what about this port, port 2? So what happens is, uh, so one part of the wave comes, one second. one part of the wave comes in this manner okay so this has not crossed any lambda by four length right so it will directly reach the other wave passes through this manner so it will pass lambda by four twice right so that means 90 degree difference correct so these two waves are going to be 90 degree apart hence they are not in phase hence these waves cancel hence this is called as isolation port when the input is applied at port one Clear? So this is a directional coupler. Now if you want uh, directional coupler to be add, uh, acting as uh, two input, I mean uh, the inputs should be fed at port 1 and port 2 and some port should act as uh, sum of these two and the sum port should act as difference of these two. So we will see how that happens. Okay, now what happens is, so imagine the input ports are this and this, okay. So what happens is, um, um, if you want port 3 to have the sum, okay, so this wave will reach directly, okay, and this wave, okay, it will cross this lambda by 4 at least once, so either this way or this way, right? So what we should do is, we have to give a uh, some phase change in 2, I mean the input fed at 2, should have a 90 degree phase change and then it should be inserted here okay only then this will give you the sum and this will give you the difference clear okay so that's how directional coupler is going to act as the sum and difference port one i mean uh, this is, it is going to give you the sum and difference if you feed any other two ports with the input okay so this is 3 db directional coupler and the spacing is also called as quarter wave spacing. Okay, clear? So that was uh, different types of uh, hybrid junctions. Okay, uh, now this is real time directional coupler. So this is what we have in lab. This is the microstrip version of directional coupler. And this is also directional coupler. Uh, we don't have this type in lab, we have this one. Okay, so all these are directional couplers. So this was about hybrid junctions. Okay. The next topic is um, mono phase comparison monopoles and monopoles uh, in two dimensions. Okay, monopoles tracking in two dimensions as well as phase comparison monopoles. Okay. So let's see uh, those topics in the next video. Thank you for that.